average life for me. Those voice lessons are really coming along, Rigetti. Good evening, gents. I'm the local rum inspector. I was wondering if I could borrow two barrels of rum to test real quick. I'll bring them right back. Um, I don't know. I haven't really heard anything about a local rum inspector. Don't worry, gents. You can trust me. Don't I look like a trusting fellow? Um, okay, but just make it real quick, okay, and bring it back. Yo ho, yo ho, oh, Bintel, Rigetti. Uh, how's the ship been? Got your work done? Oi, Captain, we just finished swapping the deck. All right, all right. Anything else? Oh, and we also gave the rum to the rum inspector. All right, all right. The rum inspector? Well, wait, what? Uh, we didn't have a rum inspector coming by. Uh, I don't think there's anything... There's there's no such thing as a rum inspector. But, sir, he said he was the rum inspector, and we handed over two barrels of rum. Two barrels of rum! Wait a second. Please tell me he did not have a monkey with him. Oh, yes, sir. He had a cute little capuchin monkey. <sighs> Barbosa. That wasn't the rum inspector. That was my arch enemy, Barbosa. Hi. Well, crew, thank you all for coming to this meeting. We have something very big to discuss. Sadly, your fellow crew members, Pintle and Rigetti, uh, have given our last supply of rum to Mr. Hector Barbosa, a.k.a. my arch enemy, as you all know. Which means we can't go on our voyage today, because as we also know, pirates can't go a day without rum. We need to figure out how to get more rum. We don't have any money, so let's brainstorm. Let's go. We need to make a group decision together. How are we going to get this rum? Of something. We've been talking for two hours and haven't come up with anything. Josh me is right. We need to start collaborating right now. Uh, anyone throw out any creative ideas. They're all welcome. Any idea at all. We just need to start brainstorming for this group decision. Uh, let's hear some ideas. Now. Um, we could, we could make our own rum. Yeah, it can't be that hard. Hmm, all right. Anyone else? Well, we can always loan some rum from a friend of mine. Hmm, okay. Will, do you have anything? Yes, actually, I was thinking that I've heard there's some treasure around this island we're on right now. Maybe we could search for that treasure, then get money, and then buy the rum. All right. Um, I was thinking, actually, of an, an idea that I had. Uh, the rum factory is just around here. What if we robbed the rum factory of their rum? That way we could get as much rum as we wanted for free. Well, I am the devil's advocate of the group. Thus, I have to discuss the pros and cons of each of these alternatives. If we look for the treasure, we might get rum and money. But we might not ever find the treasure. But if we rob the rum factory, we'll just get rum, but we'll get extreme amounts of rum. Hmm. If we weigh the options, it looks like the rum factory plan is the best. What do you guys think? Aye! Aye! Aye, aye, yes, yes! Now that is a wonderful plan. I think the rum factory idea is the best. You guys all agree? Aye, Captain! Yes! Aye, Captain, yes! Yes, of course. All right. Well, uh, let's start. Uh, let's start the plan. All right. So, as we all know, the rum factory is guarded by soldiers. So, we have to plan around that. Joshimi, you're going to distract the soldiers. Pintle and Rigetti are going to pretend to rob you, and then you're going to go up to the soldiers and tell them you've been robbed. Pintle and Rigetti will run past them, coercing the soldiers to run after them. While they're running after Pintle and Rigetti, Elizabeth and I will begin taking barrels out of the rum factory. William will help us take the barrels back to the ship, and we're home free. Sound like a plan? Oi, Captain! Oi, Captain, yes! Oi! Yes! Soldiers, help me! Those two men just robbed me! <laughs> well, 
crew, looks like we have our rum and our mission was a success. Which means we can finally set sail for the Island of Jewels tomorrow and find that legendary treasure. Savvy?